Okay, here's a quick video on converting something into another base. We're going to use base 5. And so remember in elementary school, you'd have those little base 10 blocks. These would be worth 1. Longs would have 10 in them. And then you'd have this, which would be 10 by 10, which would be 100. And you'd have cubes, which were 10 by 10 by 10, which would be 1,000. And in a sense, we still have those shapes, except... Um, now in base 5, those shapes are grouped by 5. So a single would have, you know, worth 1. These would have 5 in it. This would be 5 by 5, so that would be worth 25. And then your cubes would be 5 by 5 by 5. So these are worth 125, 25, 5. And then, of course, singles are always worth 1. And so it's kind of like, okay, how can I group these, right? Okay, and if you want to put place values with those, this would be 5 to the 0 power 5 to the first, 5 squared, 5 cubed, and then we could regroup these and shove a bunch of cubes in a plastic quart bag or something, and then that'd be 5 to the fourth and so forth. All right, so we need to figure out how many times can we make a cube out of this guy. So we want to, we have this many blocks on our table or whatever, and we're trying to group them in base 5. So if you look at this, um, we're a little shy of 3, so 2. And that would be, what, 250, and then subtract. So there's 122 left. But I can make two cubes. And each cube is 125, so that uses up 250. And I subtract, and these are how many blocks are left over. So now my goal is to take those leftover blocks and try to be like, okay, well, how many squares can I make? How many flats, if I want to organize them like that? Okay, so 4 would be a 100, 5 obviously would be too many, and if we could do 5, then we should have done another one of these. So we're going to go for 4 of these, which is 100. We're going to subtract, and there's 22 left. So I can have 4 of those guys. All right, and then again, I have 22 left. So now I'm going to try to make as many longs as I could. So let's see, if I have 22 blocks... Then I could be like, hmm, how many longs could I make if I put 5 in all of them? Okay, because again, remember in base 10, they group by 5, so not by 10. So I can make 4 of those, as you can see over here, with 2 leftovers. So that's 4. And then my 2 singles would just be the 2 that are left over. All right. So this is the answer. So 2,442 would be the answer in base 5. So if I'm converting this number in base 10 to base 5, this is what I would end up getting. Now, if you want to go backwards, so let's just go down. Um, say I give you a number, um, oh, I don't know, 1,321, and say this is in base 4, and you want to convert it back to base 10. So you want to know how many blocks would that be to us. Um, you can either draw pictures, so like here's singles, those are all worth 1 two longs and they group by four so each of those would have four in it and then you have three flats well theirs would be four by four so that would be 16 and then that cube again instead of 10 by 10 by 10 it would be four by four by four which is what is that four by four by four is that 64 all right so then you could just add up the blocks okay so you could take 64 plus that looks like what 48 plus 8 plus 1 and add that all up and you would get the answer. Um, the other option is to use that same chart we did before, kind of a place value chart, and say, okay, well, I'm doing base 4, so I know I have powers of 4, and you can write in the numbers, which would be this, and so then, again, the reason we call it place value is because each place has a value. So I have one of these, and again, remember, anything to the zero power is worth 1, so that's 1. I have two of that place, and that place is worth four, so I have two of those, which is eight. And I have three of my 16s, which is 48. And I have one of my four cubed, which is 64. All right, and so either way, we're going to add up the same numbers. It just is kind of how you visualize it, I guess. Um, all right, so let's look at this. This is, what, 56, and this is, what, 65. So is that 121? Um, to us. All right, so in base 10, it would be 121. So that's kind of how to convert into a base and then how to convert out of a base.